Yo, what's up guys? Are you confused by Burnersville, Burners Township, and Basking Ridge? Well, I made this video just for you. I got a little versus matchup between Burnersville and Burns Township covering schools, recreation, commuting, restaurants, shopping, cost of living, and more. So stay tuned to the end of this video so you know exactly what the differences are between the two towns. Let's go. My name is Kevin and this is Living in Jersey and I make these videos so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into when making the move to the Garden State. I'm also a realtor and I would love to be your real estate choice when making the move to New Jersey so feel free to call, text, or email me at any time. Burnsville and Burns Township are definitely two distinct towns so let's hop into a quick map tour just so I can explain a few things. Alright so Burnsville and Burns Township are both about 40 miles west of New York City. So we've got Central Park over here to the right of the screen, then 40 miles west, I have highlighted Bernard's Township. Uh, so I'm just gonna hop over to this other map so you can get a better feel for it. So just north of Bernard's Township is Burnsville. So this section is where all these like sprawling estates and mansions are in Burnsville. I'll say later in the video about a park, Natterars and Peep at Gladstone, just to the uh, west. Then south, we've got Bernard's Township and you can see it, it covers more area and there's different sections of Burners Township. There's Lions, Liberty Corner, uh, Basking Ridge, and Millington is uh, also considered a part of uh, Burners Township as well. My first point of comparison is recreation and man is there a difference between those rec options. In Burnsville, you have mostly ball fields scattered throughout town. There are a few playgrounds and what's available at the schools. If you want to take a little bit of a drive, you can go to Peepack, Gladstone and hit up Natterar, which is a great kind of hiking trail park. Uh, I actually use that spot as like a little picnic area after I proposed to my wife a few years back. Uh, we rode there from the Leonard J. Buck Garden in Far Hills and rode to Natterar on a tandem bike. In addition, you can have a pretty short drive to some of the Mendham hiking trails. Now, Burns Township absolutely blew me away with their recreation options, and I started at Dunham Park. It had disc golf, a nice big playground, paved trails throughout the park, a roller hockey rink, some more ball fields, and those ball fields were absolutely incredible. I've never seen rec fields that had that level of quality field ever. Normally you have like, you know, dirt patches everywhere. It's like super uneven. It looked like it was the, the maintenance crew or the grounds crew from Yankee Stadium with how well these fields were taken care of. So that was definitely a plus in terms of the quality of these parks. I also made my way over to Pleasant Valley Park and on the way, I, it was very obvious to me how the infrastructure of Burns Township is really amazing with how many sidewalks and paved trails they have throughout the entire town. So although I would say Burns Township is more spread out than Burnsville, it, I would say it's just as walkable if not more walkable because of the infrastructure in place of those sidewalks. Now on my way there to Pleasant Valley Park, there was obviously plenty of those paved trails kind of leading to the park passing a nine hole golf course, which is a private course, has a driving range there as well. Also very nearby is that Lions VA Medical Center, which is a very impressive looking building from a distance. And when I got to Pleasant Valley Park, there was a tennis game, or there was a tennis match going on between Ridge High School and uh, another school. Might have been actually Burnsville, just based off of the colors. But there is also a fishing pond there and just another great rec option in town. So with that being said, I would definitely have to give the nod to Burners Township in regard to recreation options. My next comparison are the schools, and you can definitely blame the schools for all the confusion between the two towns, whether it's Burnersville, Burners Township, Basking Ridge, and here's why. Were you saying Pan? So in Burnersville, you've got the Somerset Hills School District. Now this includes Burners High School, the district itself is an A rating according to niche.com and Burners High School is an A plus rating. In Burners Township, you also have an A rating according to niche.com with Ridge High School being an A plus rated high school. So obviously you can't go wrong with either one option, but obviously that's where the confusion lies. Other, and I think I might be able to help with the Pan Pam. So Burnsville, we've got Burners High School, Ridge, 
is in Burns Township, but Basking Ridge is a town within Burns Township. So yeah, that's why there's all this confusion, but you can't go wrong with either district at the end of the day. If you want to get technical, Niche.com ranks the Somerset Hills School District as the number three district in all of Somerset County and the Burns Township School District as the number one district in all Somerset County. Now, an interesting thing to note was that I went to the Bernards High School football game uh, last week, and what amazed me was it's a smaller school, and it's got probably 800 kids there, and there was like 100 kids out for the football team, which is pretty impressive feat for a smaller school. And I know I didn't give Burnsville the nod on that recreation comparison, but I, to me that speaks volumes about the program that they're building over there at Burns High School. Now I don't have the comparison to talk about with Ridge High School, but based off of the quality of, of how their fields look for recreation, I gotta think it's pretty similar. So again, I think this one's a toss up. Shopping is another area that the two towns share a lot in common. and. In Burnsville, you have that tight-knit downtown where you can walk to pretty much everything. And I would argue to guess that it might be a longer walk, but you could definitely walk to the ShopRite, the Chipotle, the Urgent Care, the downtown mom and pop shops, get a scoop of ice cream at Penguins. You could all do it without really getting into a car once you're in the downtown of Burnsville. Now, as I mentioned previously, Burners Township is definitely more spread out, but in the Basking Ridge section, there is a very similar type feel, I would say on a slightly smaller scale to that Burnersville downtown, in that it has all those mom and pop restaurants like the Blue Cafe, which is super popular. There's uh, like an, an eyeglass place. There's a, like a law firm and a bunch of other real estate brokerages, which by the way, I am a realtor in the state of New Jersey and I would love to be a real estate choice when making the move to the Garden State. So feel free to call, text or email me at any time. But as I mentioned, they're very similar type fields. Um, one thing that was interesting is that in Burnsville, they've got this one shop right. And from who I talked to, and I've been in there myself, it needs a bit of a facelift. It's a little bit dated. It's just not that like nice of a grocery store with all these like new modern grocery stores kind of popping up throughout the state. Now in Burns Township, there's a section that I mentioned previously called Lions. And in Lions, they have a little shopping center as well. It's like a little strip mall, also needs a facelift. I did go into that stop and shop that's there and it was a little rough. It didn't look that nice. And I'm just saying in either town, you're probably going to be driving to a Morris town to hit up Whole Foods or to go to the Parsippany Wegmans or you're going to be going to other towns to kind of finish your shopping needs if you're looking for kind of like specific items or organic options or you know the the hot bar to just grab a quick meal. I would say that's kind of disappointing for both towns but again I think the shopping options are pretty much the same. Another toss up in my mind. Let's hop into a quick map tour to talk about the differences in the commuting between the two towns. All right, so now let's go over the commuting differences between the two towns. So this is Central Park over here to my right of the screen. And then I have highlighted Burns Township, which is about 40 miles west of New York City. And Burnsville is just, just north of that. So they're both about 40 miles west of New York City. If I switch over to this map, you get a little better idea of the layouts of the towns. But as you can see, they share a border. Burnsville is just north. And as far as the highways go, we've got Route 202 running right through the center of Burnsville. It's a two lane road. It's arguable whether it's a highway or not. And then just below that in Burns Township, we've got Route 287, which is a major four lane highway running through town. And you've got Route 78, which is another major highway running through a section of town as well. I mean, as far as traffic noise goes, you're not really gonna get any from that Route 202. It is more of like a kind of back road type feel. However, in Burns Township, you do want to note that some of these neighborhoods in this section by the train station actually popped the drone up at the Basking Ridge train station to emphasize that there are neighborhoods right next to the highway and the train. So if you're concerned about noise, that's definitely where I would come into play, do a virtual tour, let you really hear what the sounds are like from that exterior tour so you can make a decision uh, for yourself there. But as I mentioned, there is also a train station in both towns. So we've got Burnsville train station right in the heart of downtown. Then when we cross over into Burns Township, we've got the Basking Ridge station. As you can see, like these neighborhoods kind of scattered throughout here, those are all homes. A little further down the line, 
we've got the Lion Station. Now these are all on the same train line and there's one direct train that leaves around 6.50 in the morning from Burnersville, Basking Ridge, and Lyons, which gets you to New York City in about an hour and 20 minutes. If you don't get that train, it's gonna take you longer than that because you have to transfer in Summit. So it's not quite as convenient. So you might run into the situation where you get to work super early um, if that time frame doesn't work for you. I have some friends who end up driving to the Morristown station just because there's a greater variety of direct train line options getting to New York City and just fit their work schedule a little bit better. In addition, they all have the same kind of bus system. So the Lakeland bus goes to Burnsville, goes has multiple stops throughout Burns Township as well. So those are pretty much the same. I'm gonna give a slight nod to Burners Township when it comes to which one is a better commuting option just because it does have easier access to Route 287, Route 78, has not one but two train stations and has the same bus system uh, availability. So I'm gonna give the nod to Burners Township on this one, but comment down below if you disagree. Both Burnsville and Burns Township have strong varieties of restaurants to choose from. In Burnsville, most of those restaurants are going to be in that downtown hub. Bicho 73 is definitely a town favorite. There's definitely a bunch of pizzerias to choose from, Italian restaurants. But there's a good mix of other cuisines in town as well. Now in Burns Township, we've got most of those restaurants in that Basking Ridge hub. Blue Cafe being one of the more popular restaurants, but again, it's got pretty much a little bit of everything for people's taste. And not to mention, from both towns, you're really like 15 minutes away from restaurants in Morristown. And another thing you could do is you can drive 15 minutes to the Bridgewater Commons Mall, hit the food court, do a little shopping, uh, which is another great thing about both towns. So again, the restaurants, I'm gonna go with it's, it's another wash. To round today's video, I just wanna finish by going over a comparison of the cost of living in each town. So in Burnsville, we have a median home sub price of about $835,000. The tax rate is 2.056. The average tax bill is about $16,000. And that ranks about third highest in all of Somerset County. And again, I think these numbers might be a little bit skewed because of these large, huge estates that are in Burnsville. So there are definitely more affordable options in town. In Burns Township, we have a median home sale price of about $750,000. That tax rate is about 2.011. And the average tax bill is about $13,000 a year. And the taxes are about the fifth highest in Somerset County. So that about rounds out today's video. Uh, just to remind you, I am a licensed real estate agent in the state of New Jersey, and I, I'm flying my own drone in all these videos, and I do the same exact thing for my clients coming from out of state. I do virtual tours, I pop the drone up so you can make sure that your neighbor's not gonna be a hoarder, and that's just the standard level of care that I take for all my clients. So feel free to call, text, or email me at any time. I cannot wait to help you find your dream home. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment below if you if I miss anything, if you want me to do comparisons of other towns, I am more than glad to help. I do these videos for you. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next week.